this has been a crazy, crazy start of the weekend. It's Friday. Man, let me just say, man, I'm in North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina, man. I had to go to, I think it's two Apple locations up here. I had to go to the one in Huntersville, man. It was pandemonium. People everywhere. I'm tired. Got me something to eat while I was out. It was people all in the Apple store. You know, it's absolutely crazy, man. Listen, Apple is bringing some upgrades this year, but it's not to the point we all think Thank you, Zach. Like, it's, it's just really not. Usually I do an introduction, but who cares this time around? You see a little bit of some of the products that I have laying up here. We're going to just open up each one of them. Just take a quick look at them. And again, I'm going to get back at you guys for my in-depth review and what I think. We picked up the Apple AirPods 4 with the noise cancellation. This box is rather rather small it's tiny 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 box so um i was one of those people where for me airpod pros they just don't fit my ear well the threes they did okay they had great sound quality like this is super teeny just doing the unboxing and unpackaging of these these are very 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 small right some of the emojis i went with from apple you can see that Pretty cool, but these are crazy small. This case is, whew, this is very, very little. Apple said they went with a different design. This year we'll have to do an in-depth of these and have to see. Active noise canceling, $179.99. I don't know, everybody check it out. Best Buy is running a deal on the AirPods Pro 2 for like $180, which I think is a kind of crazy but you guys may have to go and check that out just to see and confirm for me just to make sure it's on the up and up but i like it it's small um fits right into your pocket uh one thing about it is yep USB C type charging and they put the little indicators down here at the bottom um i heard if you it doesn't have the button on them this year but if you double tap the front It'll light up the way you can then pair it with any phone. So I'm going to try some of those features out. I'll try them out tonight a little bit. Listen to the music before I lay down. And I'll try them out tomorrow. just want to do a quick just overlay of everything. And those are the AirPods 4 with noise cancellation. We did go with the iPhone 16 Pro Max Apple silicone case. I won't take that out. You, you've seen one. You've seen them all, everybody. Um, I really won't go into that. This is the iPhone case I ordered from Amazon from Spigen. Spigen always makes some legit cases. I don't know. When I saw this, I thought this was actually pretty, pretty, pretty darn cool. I went with, see some of the specs, the mag safe, some of the battery layout. So whatever the case may be, indicators. Well, this off Amazon is about 10 bucks. It's actually pretty clean to tell you the truth. 6.9 display, open cut out here for the camera settings, whatever it is that you want to do, the camera button, whatever the case may be. You got some screen protectors in. Definitely want to take care of that investment when you do purchase it. And this is the, it's pretty heavy, iPhone 16 Pro Max. Ooh. I'm not seeing, okay. 16 Pro Max USB-C charging and one terabyte. I went with the one terabyte natural titanium. They were sold out of the desert titanium, whatever it's called. They were sold out. Again, it's late at night. I want to do this video for you guys. I always say I love, absolutely love pulling these tabs off, and I always do. Um, let's take a look at it. I'm shooting on my iPhone 15 Pro Max, and there it is, natural titanium the iphone 16 pro max um this is what everybody's been waiting on waiting for um i thought it was going to be i was very interested in trying it out for the size the 6.9 um to me it doesn't feel very that much different at all um i thought it would be a difference um to talk about iphone 15 sorry the 16 pro max having some of the thin miss bezels on the phone of course the camera quality is always on point usb-c 
And there we have it over here. You have your camera button here off to the side, which is pretty cool. Um, USB-C, USB-C braided cable. Braided cable. It's pretty nice to have. And that's it. Apple, Google. Boy, Apple is going with less in the box this year than any other. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Charger and some sticky notepads and a phone. That's it. That's all you get. So, again, it's just my quick unboxing. I'm very excited to have it. Um, loving the form factor. Uh, 6.9 this year. Uh, went with the natural titanium. I do like the natural titanium, titanium kind of grayish, dark grayish look matches up. Perfectly fine with the Apple Watch Ultra 2. Um, I was in the Apple store today and I looked at the Apple Watch Ultra 2 in black. I don't think it's worth it. I wouldn't necessarily call it an upgrade. Um, I really wanted to take place in a lot of the Apple bands that were in there for the watches, but 100 bucks a band, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. They do have some nice ones, but I'm not paying 100 bucks a band, guys. So I cannot wait to do a deep dive with the iPhone 16 Pro Max, one terabyte and the AirPods 4. I'm gonna pair these babies up with my watch. I cannot wait to do a real in-depth review for you guys. But I want to take it out of the box. It is nice, it is clean. One thing I will say, and I will admit the truth, I had a Google Pixel Fold that's still upstairs right now. I'm shooting on my iPhone 15 Pro and I'm enjoying that as well. But I will say, I try to give Androids like a real, real, real try. I, re I really try to. You have all these folds, and your foldable phones are the most expensive phones out, but like some of the most basic, minimal camera experiences that you can have. And that's what I'm seeing now my uh, Pixel Fold, Pixel 9 Pro Fold, whatever the call, whatever the name of it is. And I always see myself in some kind of way going back to my iPhone. I just always do it. I don't know why. I don't know whether it's, it's not the blue bubbles and green bubbles thing. It's more of the needing something and, and, and being able to needing something and being able to use it, right? I was on last week. I was having my Pixel 9 Pro Fold last week. I wanted to FaceTime my sister. It doesn't have FaceTime. Like It's little inconveniences like that the speaker quality on a lot of phones iphones top tier camera quality video quality top tier top tier things to have in your pocket and and that's why i see myself i try to give android like a real 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 shot and i can't go no more than about three or four days before i'm switching my eSIM right back to my iphone but again guys it's late i just wanted to do a quick unboxing of the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the AirPods 4. Can't wait. Noise Castle, can't wait to get these babies in my ear. I want to see if they feel any different. If they do, I'll let you know about it and I'll keep them. If they don't, they're going to go directly back to the store. So we'll see how everything works out um, for now. I just want a good set of AirPods that fit in my ear, feel good. You know, I'm going to see how good this noise cancellation is. And, you know, I'm going to get back with you guys and let you guys know really what I think about these products. Remember the 16 Pro Max, natural titanium, one terabyte. Can't wait to run my reports this week. I'm gonna use it for about a week, let you guys know, is it worth going to get? I got my video coming as well for the Google Pixel 9 Fold to let you know where I'm at with that and where we are from apps to softwares, to speakers, to cameras, just to let you know where we are. So again, I appreciate everybody for joining. Again, I am TMD, Mr. Tech Man Dave. And I appreciate it, guys. See you on the next one.